Hello everyone, welcome back to iExambi. You may subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. And here we are on uh, day number 13 in this series of 50 days, 50 questions for RBI, DBPR phase one examination. I hope your preparation is going well. Now, uh, if you haven't watched the previous uh, videos, previous series of questions, I would request you to please go back and watch each and every question and uh, prepare accordingly uh, for the examination. So let's start with today's question. Here, uh, the question is that a country, Kashla, imposes a 10% tariff on imported vehicles, but no tariff on imports of machinery or other inputs to the manufacture of vehicles. Suppose that under free trade, the cost of imported material is 8,000 for a 10,000 vehicle. Calculate the effective rate of protection. So what do you understand by this effective rate of protection? How do you calculate this? If you know the answer, pause this video and solve it. The options are 20%, 25%, 30%, 40% or 50%. So, if you know how to calculate it, solve it and then come back. If you don't know, don't worry. I'm going to discuss with you what is effective uh, rate of protection. So, effective uh, rate of protection basically measures the total effect of the tariff which a country uh, imposes. So, what is the total effect of the tariff on the total value added? Okay whatever is the value added per unit of the output in that industry that measures the effect of the tariff is measured by effective rate of protection okay and when when both your inputs as well as the final goods are imported from outside okay so what the total effect of the tariff has on the value added that measure is given by the effective rate of protection. Now there is a very straightforward formula for this. You will have to remember this formula from your uh, textbook to solve such questions. The effective rate of protection here is given by G is equal to T minus AI times TI upon 1 minus A. Okay. Now what are these? I am going to tell you one by one. So this T here Okay, this is the nominal tariff which is imposed. Okay, so this is the nominal uh, tariff rate on the final commodity, right? On final, which it, this particular tariff is imposed on consumers of final commodity. Okay, now this TI, okay, what does this tariff tell you? This is the tariff on imported in input okay so this one was small t is on the final commodity the nominal tariff whereas this one is on imported input how much nominal tariff is imposed on the imported input okay this one is on final commodity now what does this ai indicate this tells you the ratio okay ratio of what the cost of imported input to the price of the commodity. Okay, final commodity here we are talking about. This is in absence of tariff. Okay, what happens? What is the ratio? And this G here denotes our effective rate of protection. So, if you remember this formula in your examination, you can easily apply and calculate the effective rate of protection. So, they basically this measures the rate of protection of to the producers of the final commodity. Okay. So, now let's calculate this. Let's see what all things are given in the question for us. So, in order to calculate this, we need the T, the nominal tariff on final commodity. Do we have the nominal tariff? Yes. So, it, it is mentioned that 10% tariff on imported vehicles. Okay. But no tariff on imports of machinery or other inputs. 
So 10% is this is on the vehicle final commodity. So this is 0 0.1 T is given to you minus but there is no tariff on the input. So this Ti will be 0 because normally tariff on the important input is 0. Right? And what is Ai here? AI is the ratio of cost of imported input to price of final commodity. So it's mentioned that under free trade, yes, when there's no tariff, the cost of imported material is 8,000 for 1,000 vehicles. This is going to give you your ratio, which is 8,000 divided by 10,000, right? This is AI, which is 1 minus 8,000 divided by 10,000. Now, solve this. You have 0.1 divided by, this is 1 minus, now this cancels 8 by 10, you have 4 by 5. Okay. Now, you, when you solve this, what do you get? You have 0 0.1 divided by 1 by 5. Right. So, which is actually 0.5, okay. This is your effective rate of protection. When you convert this in percentage terms, you get 50%. So, your effective rate of protection is 50% or 0.5 in this question. Okay, I hope you have understood this question. Now, also note that here, your nominal tariff on imported input is zero okay but it might not be the case always right so accordingly your answer will be check out the mock and attempt more questions there and keep watching this playlist for 50 percent faster preparation if you have any other queries you can call us thank you